Hi guys, Wacker here. Um, been spending a bit of time looking at seeing how easy it is to convert a full map over properly uh, rather than just the uh, terrain and layout and there are an awful lot of things that one has to consider. First there's a lot of the uh, brushes that you would have used especially for uh, improving the uh, frame rates and stuff you don't need to worry about. So you can, uh, my, my best advice is don't bring in uh, a lot of the um, volumes and other things that you had from an old map. But one of the big things you've got to do um, is sort out all the models. Now I've sorted out a number of the models on here. There's a heck of a lot, lot more to do but what we can do is this. Let's pick this. There isn't, I mean I guess I could convert the COD, this is a COD 5 map, I could convert the bamboo model and then it, hey presto it would work but we could just replace it. So if we go to MISC, model replace we've got this selected so add selected it's in there and then we just have to decide what we're going to replace it with now I know there isn't actually a bamboo that looks like that but we can use uh, this model for now um, so I'm going to shuffle and what I have found sometimes it doesn't replace the one you're looking at so there's one or two things you do we can either go to that or we could delete it so I've just deleted that one in this case uh, and then it's just a case of really going through the laborious task and if you really want to replace every model and you've got to think not, not every model is going to match so you have to then consider whether you're going to actually import them in from previous CODs and so on. Um, but you've just got to go through each one, replace them until you start ending up with a populated map and it starts to, start to half look like what you had before. Uh, so this was a map that um, I made for... Um, the Vietnam model that Zero I once did. There's a load of work to do on this. Um, one thing I have noticed, and I need to play test this, because I had all the search and destroy and CTF and other prefabs in here, they've all come through. Uh, now whether it works, I don't know, I'll have to play test it. Uh, there's a bit of work to do on here. Got my tunnels there. One thing I have found with some of the stock models that I've brought in as well is um, they don't all work as well as I'd like. So it might be perhaps best thinking beforehand which model is going to be the most suitable to replace and does it really work properly and you may have a lot of effort to do, you may have to re rotate them and so on and replant them uh, to get it looking how you want it to do. Uh, I could relight this now. So go for the lights. There's only a couple of probes in here. coffee and it's busy hammering away and given I've only got four probes in here this is getting taking some serious hammer still happily away and I've seen a few people say ah oh, you know you'll only need XYZ processor and memory to run this I've repeatedly said I've struggled on various things now I've upgraded to an 8 core CPU and I've now thanks to generosity of uh, a good guy um, I've now up to 16 gig of RAM uh, and I still wonder whether I'm going to have to go above 16 gig at some point my only other Probably, probably the main thing that I need to look at upgrading is the uh, graphic card, but it's not a killer for me at the moment. So I've only got a 650 Ti boost. That said, it hasn't stopped me testing uh, and it doesn't stop me playing. So I think CPU and memory, they're the things you need to look at. Uh, the other thing is disk. Now this isn't doing much with disk activity at the moment, but when you start doing certain things, it hammers the disk. So we'll have to look at that. This is going to be quite a dark, moody map, and it's going to be hard to see the enemy. So it was meant for a Vietnam map, so you, know, you weren't meant to be able to see the enemy until you got right up close. So I imagine people with the scopes that allow you to see people with infrared and so on, it will certainly help them. There's a bit of break in the tree canopy there. Um, yeah, more work to do on this. So I'm going to keep going until I've got all the models converted. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a bit of a play test. I'm going to have to get rid of this model because it's still broken. A lot of the new assets that came across are broken, but I used to have a Huey that was in half over here, um, but 
to replace it with that. It's God knows how I even landed there. I could do a crash model really, that would be much better. I'll have to see if there is one. Are those crash pieces, so I might have to make it all up out of the individual parts. Uh, and the other thing I need to do, I need to replace uh, these buildings. I might keep that building, that's not too bad. Um, needs a bit of work, but there is some nice prefabs we've now got for uh, bamboo-ish wooden looking buildings, so in this clearing I'll do that. And I'm going to drop a boat in there, it's a nice boat model. In fact, I'll drop it in now while I'm at it. Um, no, I didn't want the kayak, I wanted a little rowboat. There we go, nice little rowboat. Yeah, let's bring them down a bit. He's got a little bit of a water leap, that's fine. Uh, I wonder if there's any oars, I'll have to have a look. Did they give us oars? That would have been too easy. No. Yeah, I'll have to ask him about that. What's the point of a boat? Give us the boat with no oars. And there's no bloody rudder. Oh my goodness. Uh, I guess you don't need a rudder with a small boat this size, but if you had four people rowing, it might make it easier. Well, I don't know, that's just my thought. Uh, right, so that's... Uh, it's Since they've given us the updates and the tools, I originally used to advise just bringing the terrain. It is getting easier now to... Um, modify it and bring in almost a full map. Again though, um, the amount of work and effort involved, you have to decide whether you really want to go through that effort. What you might want to do is say, look, you know XYZ model is going to be fine, but you're going to definitely want to delete those other models. So you can just go to view, bring up the entity list, and you can mass select all the models you just want to end up manually replacing and just delete them. Uh, nice and simple. Uh, will this be a zombie map or will it be a multiplayer map? It's going to be a multiplayer map and it's probably going to be a zombie map but I don't know. I've got too many ideas on the go. Um, I generally am not just working on one map like a lot of people. Um, I'm generally flicking between different things, trying different elements and seeing how it all looks. Um, it's starting to look quite nice this, nice and dense. Uh, it's going to make it quite a stealthy map this. Right, that's it, small update, but there you go. Ta-ta for now.